guys welcome back to my channel um today i have a casual little video for you guys it is a weekend in my life this is pretty much what every weekend in my life looks like please be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like for more content i'm gonna get on my grind and try to post more often but as you guys can see i have a different hairstyle and also i have a different hairstyle in this video i filmed this um weekend vlog two weeks ago so i recently dyed my hair black um it's supposed to be brown but it came out black <laughs> but i recently dyed my hair so that's why i have a different hair color in the video that you guys are about to watch anyways i'm done rambling i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah <laughs> day <laughs> i made myself a smoothie with um uh, strawberries and peaches i love look at the straw oh my gosh oh! i'm so excited i've had this for like the longest time but i just get so excited every time i see a sloth i freaking love sloths but yes it has peaches it has strawberries it has what else does it have it has a banana strawberry protein powder i put honey in here i also put oat milk and i put some sprinkle of oats my bookshelves are in desperate need of cleaning um they're pretty dusty and as you can tell my cats jump all over here so they make complete messes and disorganize everything everything is pushed back as you guys can tell it's a hot mess i'm showing you guys the bookshelves the before so you guys can see kind of what it looks like i am going to do the organizing off camera because i feel like it would be easier for me to do that as opposed to like propping up my phone and showing you guys like a time lapse of me doing it honestly i don't know what i'm doing yet this is kind of just putting cards wherever i feel like they look aesthetically pleasing <laughs> but look at my kitty isn't he just the cutest little thing ever yeah you're just the cutest little thing ever oh my baby this one's over here sunbathing looking all pissed why you look so angry oh you sleepies you sleepies chunky monkeys this is the outcome of taking everything off the bookshelves and now it is time to dust because this is dust <laughs>
update. The shelves are all wiped down and completely clean. And I decided to put up, because I had these just behind my bookshelf all the way at the bottom, just hanging out on my cuts. As you can tell, would attack them. But these are my vision boards that I decided to put up behind the bookshelves. And honestly, it looks pretty good. And then I had these little, um, little signs that I had like just laying on top of my bookshelf. So I was like, you know what? I could also put these up on the wall. And then my mom bought me this little dream catcher. So overall, it's looking cute. Now it's time to see how I'm gonna organize all of this on the bookshelves. Oh, I forgot about this. This needs to go up somewhere too. We'll see. Okay guys, so this is the outcome of the bookshelves. They look so good. It took me all day. The sun is down already, but <laughs> they still, it still was worth it because it looks so much better than before. Okay, so the last thing on my to-do list for this fine Sunday night or day, um, I'm going to cook. I usually cook on Sundays, so we're going to the grocery store to pick up some things that I need to get our cooking started. So I'm going to be making some chicken chipotle bowls. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we got a little grocery haul for y'all. All right, honey. We're gonna do a grocery haul because I wanna show you guys everything I got at the grocery store, cause why not? So these are things that I got at the store that I needed that I didn't have at home, but this is not all I need to make the bowls, if that makes sense. I'm gonna buy, I mean, I already have, I already have certain things, but this was just what I bought. So, we needed some cilantro for the guac and for the pico de gallo. I got a, a cucumber because I'm going to start taking veggies, cut up veggies and cut up fruit for my tent. Pause. I bought these really cute little glass containers from Home Goods. Specific, specific, oh my gosh, I can't talk. Specifically for taking um, fruit to eat on my tens at work. So I'm gonna fill these up today. I'm gonna cut up um, this and I also bought some more fruits um, for that. I bought some limes. I only got four. These are for today. I only got four because we already have some limes. We just didn't have a lot, so that's why I bought more. I bought some oranges for my little fruit jars. I brought two avocados because we we're gonna need to make some guac today. I bought some tomatoes. I got some cherries for my little fruit fruit jars and I love cherries, guys. So I also got some grapes and then I got some cut up, <laughs> this is a little hack, buy fruit that's already cut up, but some little pre-chopped melon, some pineapple, and some hikama because hikama is the base, bro. Put some salt and lemon. Oof. And then for our bowls for tonight, I got two corn, canned corn. I didn't realize, but this one is bent a little, but I mean, should be fine. And then I also bought two canned black beans and then i got some sour cream and two pounds of chicken breast so that's what i got from the store and let's just cook it up let's just start cooking it up let's start spicing it up <laughs> i'll update you guys when i have an update okay guys so i got my chicken right here getting cooked 
I seasoned it with some lorries as well as some onion powder and some garlic and herb and then I put a little bit of salt because this already has salt and then I also put some pepper in it. I have my rice right here. I just now started cooking it so hopefully it is done in time because rice takes forever to cook. And over here I have all of my veggies that I need to chop up. I have this really old avocado. I'm gonna just like open it and see if it's still good but i don't know if it is this one doesn't look that good either so I, that's why i bought two more so we'll see how this goes and then as well as i'm gonna put some tomato don't worry i have my, i have more tomato so i got some tomatoes for the guac some onion some limes and some cilantro right here and then um for the pico de gallo it's gonna be tomato onion lime cilantro so I have everything I need to chop up. Got my cutting board right here and we're just gonna get started. Okay guys, so I have my guac all mushed together, mashed up. And then I have cut my um, onion, tomato, and celery. And now I have the lime right here and I'm about to squeeze it in there. I can't do this with one hand. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, sister. You just gonna squeeze that shit in there, me. Like this. This is the finished guac. Oh my gosh, guys. It is fucking delicious. Sorry for my profanity. I squeezed about three limes in here. And then I put salt. A little bit of pepper. But I normally don't put pepper in here. I just sprinkle some. And I was like, wait, I don't use pepper in here. What am I doing? But there is pepper in here. And then I also put um, garlic powder and onion powder. People might think that that sounds weird to put in your guac, but it's actually freaking good. My sisters were like, what the fuck are you doing? But it's good, okay? And it literally, this is the finished guac that's going to go right on top of our bowls. But it's going to go in the fridge. I'm not. We're not going to put that in the bowls because, of course, we're going to heat up our bowls and everything. So it might mess up the taste of the guac if it's warm. But yeah, I'm going to start cutting up this tomato and get it ready for the pico so i have to i'm gonna cut up tomato um i have this onion right here and also i have some more right here um that i'm gonna use and i'm also gonna use some celery and then i'm probably gonna put the same amount of lemon three lem three limes the green ones and some salt onion powder and garlic powder and we're going to call it a day. I like to take out this, like, um, seed, the mushy part of the tomato so that it could taste more crunchy, I guess. But, yeah. ASMR moment while my eyes burn <laughs> okay guys so we have our pico right here all done and I haven't tried it yet so this is a taste test I put salt no pepper garlic powder and onion powder so we're gonna go ahead and get a tomato here try to get some onion so we got tomato onion cilantro If I would have to critique it, I'd say I put too much cilantro. But I mean, honestly, maybe it's a little bit salty too, but nothing crazy. Just like a little bit, but it's honestly good. <laughs> While I was chopping up all my veggies, my chicken finished cooking. And honestly, guys, that shit is busting. I already tried it. And then my rice is done. I want to mimic the cilantro lime rice from Chipotle. So I'm going to cut up some cilantro to throw in here. And I'm also going to cut one lemon in half and squeeze it in there. And we'll see what this comes out to. I already put salt. so And I also put um, like a little piece of butter. So it's good with that. We're going to just add some cilantro and lemon and see how it goes. 
Okay, guys, so I have put the cilantro and the lime in here. Um, let me show you. We're going to go ahead and mix this up and see how uh, it goes. I'm experimenting. This is my first time ever doing this, but I have high hopes. So I'm just mixing this in and we're going to give it a taste test. First taste test live on camera. I could grab a small spoon, but I don't want to dirty another dish. So here goes nothing. Okay, Chipotle. That's really good. Hey guys, so now that we have pretty much everything ready, we're going to go ahead and assemble it. And I will just show you guys the finished look of it and what it looks like already in the containers. Okay guys, so I am wearing something different. It is currently the next day because last night I finished cooking pretty late and I finished putting all the stuff in the containers pretty late. So I was like, I'm not even going to vlog. I need to get to bed because I work tomorrow, but it is already the next day and I want to show you guys what the finished meal looks like. So this is what our fridge is currently looking like. I wanted to show you guys. I am taking these from Costco to um, for my lunches at work. This is pretty much what I'm eating on a daily. Um, Southern chicken wrap. It is very good. I tried it like once and I really liked it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start taking these for my lunch. And then these are the finished, oops, the finished bowls. And I also wanted to show you guys, not the cilantro, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the fruit bowls, fruit jars I was talking about. I was only able to fit the grapes, pineapple, and melon, but I did buy oranges, and I bought grape, um, I bought cherries, and I bought some jicama. So maybe next week I'll use up those for the jars because as you can tell, it didn't fit, but this is what the dress looked like, and this is what I'm eating on my tin. Um, I don't have time to finish it on my tin, so I just, I'm eating half of it, and then the other half I'm eating on my lunch. But let me show you guys the, the Chipotle bowls. So this is a finished Chipotle bowl. It has the chicken, the rice, the beans, the black beans, I mean the corn, the black beans, and then I just sprinkled some mozzarella on top, and then I'm gonna throw this in the microwave, heat it up, and then I'm gonna put the pico de gallo and the guac on top, and boom, that's my dinner for today. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely people. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and you know, enjoyed watching it, it wasn't too boring. We reorganized my bookshelves and we did some plant um, work, we also cooked, so the weekend was full of stuff. Um, and I usually do do this every weekend. I meal prep every Sunday. So, um, yes, this is a realistic weekend in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Give it a big old thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you guys. Give, give, give.